Hello, today's video is going to be on converting um, from one unit of measure to another. Typically we would want to do this when the units, when we need them to be smaller or sometimes when we need them to be bigger or when we just need to look at them differently. So for instance, how do we convert 20 miles per hour to feet per second? Now 20 miles an hour, you can kind of get an idea of how fast that is in a car. But if we're not talking about a car traveling, say we're talking about how, how many, um, um, maybe I have a machine that's cutting uh, corn husks as I go through the fields and I want to know how many linear feet that I'm cutting through every second. That might be a reason why 20 miles per hour might go at the speed with the car, but maybe if I want to see what it's actually doing in terms of, of feet, something that I can wrap my head around, I might want to convert. So this is a typical um, problem that you may have seen before. Now the first thing that you need to do when you're converting is you need to get in the frame of mind that we've got to be talking about we're going to have to do some unit conversions. So some of the basic things that you know. I'm going to add a page in here so that you can write them down in your notebook. Some of the basic things you know is that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. That, that's just a fact that we know. We also know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Some other facts that we know, there are 24 hours in one day. There are seven days in a week, 12 months in a year, and so on and so forth. Uh, some other basic things that we know have to do with um, linear measurements. So we know that there are 12 inches in one foot. We know that there are three feet in one yard. We also know that there's 5,280 feet in one mile. There are some uh, units in the metric system that we should be aware of. We know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. We know that oh, we've got one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So some things like that. And if there, if there are other unit conversions that you need to look into, you can definitely Google them. Um, be resourceful is my suggestion in finding how do you do some conversions. You can easily go to Google and Google unit conversions. Uh, I want to go from feet to miles. What do I do? Just be careful that when you're working on these assignments, you don't go to a website that's going to do all the conversions for you because you will not have that um, opportunity to have your computer with you or that application on a test. So let's go back here to how do we convert 20 miles per hour to feet per second. So this is what I'm starting with, 20 miles per hour. So I'm going to write on the left hand side here 20 miles per hour. So that's per one hour. So every hour I'm driving or I'm riding or I'm traveling 20 miles. And I want that to be in feet per second. So what I do is, this is what I start with on the left hand side, 
And what I end up with on the right hand side, or what I want to get to, is what I put on the right hand side. And in between we're going to do some unit conversions. So this is what we're given, or where we start. And this is where we want to finish. We want to end up with feet per second. So I look at this fraction, I say 20 miles over one hour. Well, the one hour to seconds, that's the problem right there to begin with. That's the easier of the two. How do I change from hours to seconds? Well, I need to do a unit conversion. Whenever you do a unit conversion, you look at the unit of measure that you want to eliminate. I want to eliminate the hour. So if I want to eliminate the hour, I'm going to put the hour on top so that the word hour and hour cancel out, cross cancel, because I'm multiplying two fractions. I'll be able to cross cancel these two words out. But I need a unit conversion. So I go back to my basic facts and I know that one hour is the same thing as 60 minutes. So I've worked my hours down to minutes, which is a little bit closer to seconds. So I'm going to have to do another unit conversion here. I need to get rid of the minutes. So minutes is going to go on top. And I know that one minute is the same thing as 60 seconds. And now the minutes cancel out. See, they cross cancel out. So now on top, the only word that exists is miles, which is still a problem. And on the bottom, the only word that exists is seconds, which is what we want to get to. So that's good. Check. We've got our seconds. So what we're doing here is we're multiplying by unit conversions. And you remember, anything over itself in a fraction is equal to 1. So if I have 7 over 7, that's equal to 1. If I have 12 over 12, that's equal to 1. Well, anything over itself is equal to 1. 1 hour is the same thing as 60 minutes. So we can consider those two things the same. They just look different, but they are the same exact value. So any value over itself is equal to a factor of 1. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking 20 miles per hour and I'm just multiplying it by a factor of 1. And then I'm going to multiply it again by a factor of 1. So I'm not changing the value, I'm just changing what those words look like. Now I need to, I'm all set with the seconds, now I need to get from miles to feet. Well miles is on top, so I'm going to need to put a mile on the bottom. Now a mile is pretty big. A mile is bigger than a foot. So one mile is going to go on the bottom and my feet, which there are a lot of feet in a mile, specifically 5,280 feet in one mile. And now you'll see that the miles cancel out and across the top I've got the word feet and across the bottom I've got the word second. Now I'm ready to multiply. So what I'm going to have here is 20 times 1 times 1 times 5,280 divided by 60 times 60 and on the top that was feet and on the bottom it was seconds and now we just need to reduce so I say 20 goes into itself one time 20 goes into 60 three times. 10 goes into 5,280, 528 times. 10 goes into 60, six times. Now 3 will go into 528, and it goes in 176 times. And now I have 176 feet over 6 seconds. Well, 2 is going to go into each of those numbers. 2 goes into 176 88 times. So there's two different ways I can write this. I can say 88 divided by 3 feet per second. 
or I can actually take 88, divide it by 3. I'm going to show you short division here is what I call it. 3 goes into 8 two times with 2 left over. 3 goes into 28 nine times with 1 left over. 3 goes into 10 three times with one left over and you'll see that that three is repeating so our decimal is 29.3 with a repeating bar feet per second and either one of those could be the correct answer and we've just converted from 20 miles per hour to feet per second so 29 feet every second would equate to 20 miles per hour. So that, that's quite a bit. So if you're uh, riding in um, maybe a golf cart and you're going 20, 20 miles per hour, just as you're watching the ground, you could think as every second goes by, I've traveled almost 30 feet with every second. Okay, here's another problem. We've got the density of seawater is approximately 1.025 grams per milliliter. We want to calculate the mass in kilograms. Well, mass is considered to be grams, it's considered to be kilograms. So I have to take this 1.025 grams per milliliter and I've got um, that density in 15 liters of seawater. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to multiply it by 15 liters. Now ideally, ideally here, what would happen is the milliliters and the liters would cancel out and I'd be left with grams. They don't cancel out, so I need to get rid of the milliliters. I'm talking about liters, so I need to get rid of the milliliters. So my unit conversion here would be one milliliter is the same thing as 1,000 liters. And you can see that we've accomplished the liters going away, the milliliters canceling out. And now I have grams. If I were to take 1.025, multiply it by 15, I would get my answer in grams. But we don't want grams, we want kilograms. One kilogram is the same thing as 1,000 grams. Now the grams cancel out, and we're going to be left with the only unit of measure of kilograms. So I'm going to take 1.025, I'm going to multiply it by 15, and I'm going to divide it by 1,000 twice. And that's the answer that would go right here. I'm running out of time. So you can use your calculator to get that value, and it would go right there. And um, I hope you found this video to be helpful, and we'll see you in the next.